Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Terraform Workspace and use cases. Which scenario we can use Terraform Workspace. So let's start. So what is Terraform Workspace? So Terraform Workspace are a feature that allow you to manage multiple environments or instance of your infrastructure within a single Terraform configuration. So with the help of single configuration file, you can manage multiple environment or multiple instance. For example, we have, if you can see in this particular image, this is the workspace and under this workspace, I have created two new workspace. One is for dev instance or dev environment and another for test instance or for test environment. So for dev workspace or dev instance, the instance type we are selecting a t2.micro and for test instance we are choosing instance type as a t2.small so that's this is the feature of workspace so with the help of workspace basically we can create we can work on multiple environments with the help of same configuration file terraform starts with a single default workspace named default that you cannot delete so whenever you initialize the terraform configuration file that is created under a default workspace which you cannot delete it we will see in a demo and these are the custom workspaces dev and test which we have created so i hope it's clear what is the purpose of terraform workspace so these are the workspace command which we have to use to create delete show list workspaces so for delete command it's a delete a workspace we have to use terraform workspace delete and the name of workspace similarly for list new select and show so that's how basically we have to use a terraform command so these are the five commands i have taken this snap from the uh, terraform websites has you got terraform website itself so these only the five commands which is available over there so now we will discuss how the use cases and scenarios where terraform workspace can be beneficial so first one we have here environment specific configuration so workspace allow you to maintain a separate configuration for each environment for example you can define different variables resource counts or instance size for development staging and production environment so as we discussed in previous slides in workspace we have create we have mentioned two workspace dev and test so for both the workspace we can use different variables or different instance types basically we can have different configuration so that's the purpose the first scenario which we can use like which is environment specific configuration next we have collaboration so workspace facilitate collaboration among team members by allowing them to work on different environments simultaneously each team members can have their own workspace for development or testing purpose without interfering with others work. This separation provide a clear isolation of resources and avoid conflicts during the infrastructure update. So this is the another feature which we can use collaboration. Next we have multi region or multi cloud deployment. So if you are deploying your infrastructure across multiple regions or cloud providers workspace can be used to manage each deployment separately so you can create a workspace for each region or a cloud provider and define the appropriate configuration for each such as different access keys endpoint or region specific resources so these things basically uh, with the help of workspace you can achieve multi-region or multi-cloud deployment as well next we have testing and rollback so workspace provide an effective way to test changes before applying them to production. So you can create a dedicated workspace for testing where you can experiment with different configuration and evaluate the impact before prompting the changes to the production workspace. If an issue arises, you can easily roll back changes by reverting to the previous workspace state. Next we have a branch specific deployment. So when using a version control system like git you can create a workspace and tied to the specific branch suppose i have created a workspace called dev and that particular dev workspace i have tied with that feature branch so once you test all your changes then you can simply merge that feature branch where you have pushed your terraform configuration file with the and you can merge with the master branch or main branch so this is the another scenario where we can use terraform workspace now 
uh, there is a function I have mentioned here lookup function based because I have mentioned this function here we are going to use this function in our demo so I just want to give a brief about lookup function so lookup retrieves the value of a single element from a map given its key if the key if the given key does not exist the given default value is returned instead so what does it mean basically if you can see here we have a lookup function so we uh, mention like this lookup bracket map and this is the key and this is default one so this is basically optional you can provide uh, if not provide it will take a default one which you have in your config so you have to define so each map basically we have a three different keys so so basically single element it will take it will be more clear when we do a demo so let's go to demo let me open my bs code so here basically if you can see this is the provider block you have already seen in my previous videos so nothing to explain here basically and this is the main thing here the, i have defined a variable called instance type and this variable type i have defined a map and the default value which i have defined here if if we have a default as default workspace then it will use t2.nano as an instance type if we have a dev workspace then it will choose t2.micro as an instance type and if we have a test workspace then it will use t2.small so this is the variable and list of map we have defined here now what how basically we are going to use this particular variable inside our resource when we create a ec2 instance so this is again a simple configuration this is a resource block and we are going to create a EC2 instance so we have to define here AWS underscore instance and this is the local name which we have defined here VM and this is the AMI ID now instance type if you can see here I have chosen here variable dot instance type so this is a map if you see this particular variable type we have defined as a map so this we have chosen as a map key and default so default we have not specified because it's optional and next we have defined it terraform dot workspace so this is the key so this is the map basically we have defined here then we have a key and default is optional so it's not required now let me run this configuration and we will see So first we have to run the that we have to initialize the workspace first because we have not done that earlier so it basically it will download all the required plugins which is required to connect to aws if you can see initializing plugins so it's completed let me clear the screen now let me show how many workspace we have now so terraform workspace okay list so we have only single workspace default which we cannot delete it because it's a system generated now let me create a new workspace new name i will provide dev so now you can see it created and switch to workspace dev now let me run again terraform workspace list so now you can see earlier when we run initially it was pointing to the default workspace by default and when we created a new workspace it will automatically switch the newly one created workspace if you can see the star symbol now it's pointing to the dev workspace so now we have two workspace default and dev let me create a one more workspace we will provide the name here test So let me again run terraform workspace list command. So now you can see now it's pointing to the test workspace. So now we will see how we can choose oh sorry we can switch from test to dev and dev to default or any other workspace from one to other if we have to switch it. So this is the command terraform workspace select and we have to type the name so I'll choose dev workspace first. So now you can see it switched to the workspace tab. Let me clear the screen. So, okay. 
now one more thing i just want to show you so if i'll go to folder here so if you can see the workspace this is the dot terraform directory where we have downloaded installed the plugins when we run the initialization this is the file this is the folder where we have both dev workspace and test workspace and if you use default workspace then it will create the dat files inside here under root directory so if you can see a dev we don't have anything here and similarly for test we don't have any data here so now let me run the terraform plan command so i think we are on dev workspace let me confirm it terraform workspace show okay so we are on dev workspace so for dev workspace we have a instance type t2.micro so when we run terraform plan command it should choose t2.micro as an instance type so okay let me check instance type so now we you can see the instance type it's a selected t2.micro because we have we are in a uh, dev workspace so let me clear the screen now we will learn apply hyphen auto hyphen approve command okay something is wrong terraform apply okay spelling mistake let me also open the folder here so now you can see we have the tf state file for dev workspace so let's finish this particular instance creation okay so it's completed <coughs> let me clear the screen and let me go to aws console so here we have a t2.micro instance similarly what we will do we will switch to the terraform workspace slash test so if you see in our test folder uh, we don't have any kind of files basically tf state file if you see dev we have a tf state file and for test we don't have because we have not run any configuration on this workspace so it's now i will directly run terraform apply auto approve so basically each workspace will have their own separate tf state file for default it will be under the root directory or for if you have created any custom workspace then the tf state file will be under the particular workspace which you have created okay so here instance type it should be t2.small because we have chosen a test workspace okay so it's completed let me clear the screen and uh, we'll go to test workspace so you can see here we have terraform.tf state file so each workspace will have their own uh, tf state file so now we will for see the for the uh, default workspace so we don't have any tf state file so now let me switch to the default workspace and for default workspace we have an instance type t2.nano so let me verify the okay so we have t2.small t2.micro 
so here it should be a t2 dot nano for default workspace okay so it's completed now let me clear the screen and go to default workspace so you can see here now we have a terraform.tf state file for default workspace so that's how basically a terraform workspace feature will work i hope it's clear so thank you so much see you in next video